if we're being real, today we are starting our recaps. I went two for three. Somebody over here went one for three. Do we have to make this video? <laughs> I mean, I'm just saying, you said you would do something if the Ravens lost the game. Are you going to do it? What did I say? I don't even remember. Uh, flashback. So are you kind of leaning toward the Browns right now? That's what it sounds like. I know the first matchup was not good at all. I know it wasn't good for the Browns. They lost 28 to 3. I'm very much so aware of that. I think the Browns get it done. Holy cow. I, I, I just, I just talked myself the, into it. Split decision alert right here. I just think the Browns are going to get it done, man. All what right. We do. Let's see. I really do. And I don't think that's going to happen. We'll I don't see. think it's the Browns' year. We'll see. What I are think you going to do when I'm right? Huh? Now I'll admit it on recording. <laughs> Oh, dang. All right. Well, <laughs> you were right. There it is. I admitted it. So, <laughs> obviously, the Browns-Ravens game was kind of crazy. And I find it really surprising that people are saying that the Ravens had no business losing this game. I actually think it's the other way around. I don't think the Ravens had any business winning this game. The Ravens, they got a pick six on the opening drive from the Browns. It was kind of a weird one. Weird pick six at the beginning of the game. So that's seven points that they just get at the beginning of the game. They go up seven nothing. And then the Browns fumble a punt on their own 10 yard line, giving the Ravens a ball at the 10 yard line. That's another seven points that the Ravens didn't really have to work for. And therefore they should have had 14 less points than they actually did. I don't think that the Ravens actually should have been in this game for the most part anyway. And by the way, those two things happened and they still lost the game. Yeah, but after they happened, they were up going in the fourth quarter and it was theirs to lose at that point. Now, that's an interesting point here. I'm glad you mentioned that. Over the past two seasons, the Ravens have lost seven games where they are leading entering the fourth quarter. That is tied for the most in the NFL with the Indianapolis Colts. That is not a good stat. Whenever you're tied for losing the most amount of games when you're leading going into the fourth quarter, that is not a good stat to have. We talked about it with Lamar Jackson. In one possession games, he has lots of turnovers in the fourth quarter. He doesn't have a lot of touchdowns. All of those things are not good. Lamar Jackson isn't having a great year. Do you remember when we talked about C.J. Stroud and why we think he is a top 10 quarterback. I would take CJ Stroud over Trevor Lawrence, and I would take CJ Stroud over Lamar Jackson. And since Aaron Rodgers is injured, that means CJ Stroud is a top five quarterback. He's really moving up your list. And I just want to say, when we were making our predictions, you did not make it clear that we were picking all four quarters. I thought we were just picking the first three of the game. So I was half right. Is that how it works? Actually, I was three fourths right. Three fourths right. That's yeah, 75%. <laughs> I mean, half the fourth quarter, you were right, too. Uh, most of the fourth quarter, you were right, actually. So we're talking like 85, We're talking about like 90% of the game. Yeah. You were right. <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you, buddy. Too bad you got it wrong. Yeah. Well, yeah, you know. I agree with you that C.J. Stroud is a top five quarterback right now, though. I, I mean, I would him. take him over Lamar yep. Jackson. And to back that up, dude, Lamar Jackson has 10 touchdowns and 10 turnovers. That's a lot. He, he has thrown what, for 10 touchdowns. Remember, C.J. Stroud turnovers. had like one. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, well, right. he had, he had, yeah, CJ Stroud had a little bit of a rough game. And not even, and he won the game. He can't even, whatever. We're getting into that game late. Oh, no. He, dude, he doubled his turnovers in interceptions. Yes. That's a lot. Yeah, I know. Yeah, that's crazy. <laughs> he has two now. Wow. Uh, CJ Stroud is just going off. Um, imagine if another game. quarterback did that. Can you imagine Lamar Jackson throwing? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Keep going. <laughs> anyway, Lamar Jackson. When that run game isn't going, they don't look that good. The Ravens don't look that good. I said that I think that the Browns will be able to kind of stop the run game from really going off, which they still kind of went off, but not nearly enough as they needed to. And guess what? Lamar Jackson had two turnovers in this game, not looking good. And I have a question for you. Lamar Jackson, do you think he has more touchdown passes then Mac Jones, you know, the guy who's been benched like three times this year. It's sad. The guy who literally got benched this week for a game winning, potential game winning drive. I know the answer to this yeah. and it's sad. And here's the other thing. Now nah, I'll pose a question to you while we're talking about Lamar Jackson. Mm -hmm. Do you think that all of Lamar Jackson's injuries have actually just been hiding 
how poor of a quarterback he is. Mm. That's interesting. Because while he had some amazing performances, obviously had some very poor performances. Do you think he would have a lot more poor performances if he wasn't injured for 90% of the seasons that he's been playing? I know that's a little overstated, but it poses the question that did he really... It's interesting. Yeah, right? That's interesting. Well, for one, to answer the question, he has the same amount of touchdowns as Mac Jones. So that, that that's one thing. Okay. Uh, Let's move on to the other question. That's an interesting question you just posed. Is Lamar Jackson good because, or considered to be better because he's been injured? Let's, he, because he hasn't had to play in the big games because he hasn't been there the past couple of seasons. That's what I'm saying. So, for example, can you imagine back, I mean, we're going to switch topics on sports, but, like, imagine Jeremy Lin in basketball when Lin Sandy was going on. Mm-hmm. Imagine if he had that and then got injured. You wouldn't really see how good of a basketball player he is. That's is right. that what's happening to Lamar Jackson? Well, to some extent. One thing, he's not really running, and I think that's in an effort to not get injured so that he can be there for the playoffs. That's also but his game. That's also his game. He's never been a great passer. And in fact, in this game alone, in the fourth quarter, he went one for five for 11 yards. That's not good. That's not going to win you a football game. You just need to run the clock out. You go one for five for 11 yards. That's not going to win you a football game. But that's an interesting question. I think I think you might be right. I think that he would be getting more criticized if he wasn't injured because he would be coming up short in those situations most likely because from what we've seen, he always comes up short in those situations. The Ravens, again, have lost the most amount of games when going into the fourth quarter with the lead in the past two seasons. So that's an interesting that's an interesting point you brought up, honestly. Uh, it could be. I want you guys to tell us what you guys think about that in the description. How about the comments? You write the comments. I want you to let us know what you guys think about that in the comment section. Remember to like and subscribe. Share it with a friend. And until next time, keep it real.